Hi, my name is John Thompson. Today I'm going to be presenting to you a topic called train hopping. Train hopping is an issue that's going on right now with American youth uh, illegally jumping onto freight trains and riding them. Uh, this presentation will be going into this into greater detail and examining what, ex what it is and what actually ha can happen to teenagers. So what is train hopping? I explained it in the previous slide that train hopping is illegally riding on freight trains. Now, what exactly is illegally riding on trains? Well, one, you don't have a ticket. You're not authorized to be there. The train cars are not safe for you to be on. Uh, it is both dangerous and illegal. Train hopping is not fun as it's made out to be, or tampering with equipment and gaining access to a locomotive cab. I saw a couple of YouTube videos uh, showing people who train hopped doing this. Uh, the locomotive was actually into a uh, middle of a consist of freight cars and so there was nobody in the cab when they got into the cab but uh, you could imagine basically all the bad things that can happen if they start messing around with the controls uh, this is also a rising crime on railroads themselves every railroad I saw on YouTube seems to be affected by this now the other thing to keep in mind is that if you are doing this you are subject to arrest, you go to a jail, and you might even go to prison for this because of uh, what you are doing is being so inherently illegal and dangerous. And getting arrested is probably the best outcome out of what could actually happen to you. Why is it dangerous and illegal? Well, it's unlawful to trespass on railroad tracks. Railroad tracks are private property and not open to the public. Freight cars also don't have toilets or accommodations for passengers. There's no snack bar, there's no toilet, there's no shower, there's no place for you to sleep. Freight cars are intended to be just that. They carry freight. They're not intended for people to ride on or in. Uh, riding freight cars is also dangerous because you can get hurt or killed boarding even a slow moving train. You can slip and fall and basically get run over by the wheels of a freight train, lose a couple legs, uh, or have some other injury, and help might not be able to get to you. Depending on where the location of your injury is, it may make getting EMS services to you tough. You might not be able to get cell service. Uh, there might not be roads uh, accessible to the spot where you are on the railroad. So those are a couple of things to look at when you see why it's dangerous. Here we are going to look at some rising signs of trouble. Teenagers post their illegal train rides on social media. I have found several videos on YouTube. Uh, I was looking at some rail fanning videos uh, of people uh, basically discussing uh, you know, train rides, stuff like Pentrex, and these videos came up of teenagers illegally riding freight trains. Now, they do it either to uh, basically not care, they don't understand about the law, and they feel that they aren't doing anything seriously dangerous or wrong, and that there will be no consequences for their actions. And then, of course, because they don't get caught the first time, some will do it and basically feel that they will never get caught, and hence they become serial offenders. So what happens if you are caught? Well, you're arrested and subject to fines or serious prison time. You can be arrested locally by local police and turned over to railroad police who are real police. Some of these videos on YouTube downplay and make fun of rail police and saying, oh, they can't really do anything. They have no real authority. You're wrong. You, can, you will go to the railroad's jail and be processed and appear before a judge. You will also have a criminal record that will follow you for the rest of your life. Again, that is the best case scenario if anything happens because you can be killed or hurt by a moving train and this makes getting arrested seem like nothing. You risk being maimed and disabled for life or losing limbs. And you also disrupt both rail and highway traffic and take emergency services away from someone needing them. Now, how can you enjoy trains responsibly? You can do several things. You can visit and ride trains at a museum. You can volunteer to work at a rail museum. 
Take pictures at approved locations. For example, Horseshoe Curve would be one. Uh, some scenic railroads and excursion railroads will basically uh, do photo run trains where basically they'll drop you off into a safe approved spot where you can actually photograph the trains themselves. Pay for a ticket on a passenger train. This way you know you're going to have a place to go to the bathroom, you'll have a place to sleep, and you will be safe. And if you're still interested in the trains and you really like it, you can get a job working for the railroad. So what do you need to do? The point of this whole presentation, stay off the tracks, period. You are trespassing. You also will reduce the risk of getting hit by a train as well as getting injured getting on a moving train. Do not board any moving train regardless of how slow it is going. Do not ride on freight cars. They are not passenger cars. They are not designed to carry people. Obey the law. Realize that you are trespassing on railroad property. You are illegally riding in a train. And if you tamper with equipment aboard a train, you can cause problems on that train in terms of its operation and potentially cause a derailment. Remember, someone will be traumatized by you getting hurt or killed. And this is not only your family, this goes out to the engineers who run the trains. Stay alive. There are more things to look forward to, and your family needs you right now.